Let's see if this is working. Hello? Is it working? Is, can anyone hear this? If you can, can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a hallelujah in chat? Um, if anyone can actually see this. I haven't even promoted this anywhere, I've realized. Uh, and I probably should have done that. Um, but that's oh, my bad, guys. That's my bad. Um, is this even public? Yeah, it is. It is public. <laughs> just double checking. That would be embarrassing if I started a stream and it wasn't public. Let me just um, share this stream because I've forgotten to do it. Uh, you may be able to tell a couple of things. Um, we, we haven't got the studio lights on. We've actually got natural light coming in. That's right. Mainly because I can't reach my light to do it. And you know what? I thought it would be nice to get some natural light in here. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a chat about the centenary marketing. Um, if you've been on Twitter the last couple of days, you'll know what we're, we're going to be talking about. For some reason, this stream is not coming up as like the latest thing on my channel, so that might be why people are struggling to find it. Uh, let me just put live now. There we go. All right. I've also just used the, the old thumbnail. It's like a... The certain ooh. <laughs> yeah, first trip I've been able to You need to talk about centenary marketing. I do! I do need to talk about centenary marketing because... Um, for some reason, I don't know why it's gone over to that. Because uh, it basically got confirmed by... Well, not basically. It did get confirmed by uh, SFX Magazine that um, they were planning on covering the centenary in their September edition and the BBC didn't get back to them. Um, they didn't get back to them soon enough, essentially, uh, for them to do it. Let me get the um, the tweet up where they explain this discrepancy. So this is kind of a sequel to, um, if anyone saw my video where I was talking about the centenary marketing uh, with my bad mic and my laptop stuff, this is, you know, a sort of sequel to that because not only now is there, you know, not really going to be marketing till September. The one bit of marketing we did know about has basically <laughs> been deconfirmed by the people. So um, let me find it. I did like it, so let me find it. Did it do? So um, let me find it. Uh, do do do. I did um. I did I did have it like that's annoying. But basically, uh, sorry sorry this is taking so long. Darren Scott, uh, who's the editor of um, SFX Magazine, has confirmed that they were going to be covering stuff for the centenary, and basically, they're not now. Uh, let me find it. Um. Let me just, uh, let me find it. Do, 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 do. I just, 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 I basically want to get, make sure that, uh, yeah. So here's the confirmation. So Darren Scott, editor of SFX Magazine. Sorry this took so long for me to set up. You can tell I was not prepared for this stream, so I apologize for that. Um, uh, he said, we were planning to, but sadly we couldn't get access in time. So... All content subjects change, unfortunately. We are trying to make something work for the issue in October. So yeah, basically in one short sentence there, they confirmed that they couldn't get stuff in time to cover the centenary in um, the latest edition of SFX Magazine. Yeah, you can see my kitchen a little bit. Wow, you're learning more about the Thary's Law. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about this. And I, I, I'm going to be a little, I'm going to get a little bit of a, a rant to be, to be going, if I can, um, I, you know, I want to, I want to get this going, but yeah, I think, sorry, it's been taking so long, uh, I think this is ridiculous, I genuinely do, I think, I think the stuff, oh, I've gone onto my other camera, I think um, 
this whole thing, this whole secrecy, this whole secrecy stuff has gone too far. I, I, I believe it's gone too far. I think, I think it's an absolute, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I genuinely do. I think this whole thing of, the thing is, right, I'm seeing a lot of people confuse the frustration here with, um, with fandom entitlement and with, um, uh, with, you know, people being like, oh, you know, fans just want promotion. That's not the issue here. The issue is people like, you know, sort of magazines and licensees, you know, they are not getting told information either. So that it's actively preventing the show from getting those <laughs> those bits of promotion. This isn't just the, oh, we didn't get a trailer issue. It's more so we didn't get a trailer and we didn't get, you know, they're not even giving stuff to the licensees, the people who really should be getting stuff. It's just really unprofessional, and I don't get why it's being done like this. I don't get it. I, I don't know why people are, are defending it as well, being like, oh, but of course they wouldn't cover the centenary in the September issue. It'll be the October issue. Here's a fun fact. They tend to cover things coming out in the coming months. They've done that multiple times. That's not a new thing. This is, for some reason, somehow, people are still trying to say, actually, there's not a problem, even though, you know, licensees, magazines aren't getting the information they need to promote the show. That's not the issue. It's, it's the timing of the magazine. It's like, no, that's not, that's not the issue here. And it's not fandom entitlement either. This is like, this is core important marketing stuff that's not being done for seemingly no benefit. Is it the BBC or is it Chibnall? The thing is, it's difficult because while I think the BBC have their part to play, so let's be fair though, the entire era's been like this. Let's not forget that in the Moffat era, you know, we had a trailer at SDC, SDCC um, for Twice Upon a Time in like July and there was no issue then. I do think Chibnall has, you know, some something to, to do with this. This isn't marketing. No, but what I'm trying to say, Keith, is Doctor Who, right? The brand of Doctor Who is an ecosystem. And when you're not giving stuff to your licensees so that they can promote stuff, that's when it becomes an issue, right? So, say for example, right? I'll, I'll use a different example to magazines. Say you've got a toy manufacturer who's making toys for... Star Wars, right? And they need, you know, some blueprints, some sketches, some concept art to make toys for Star Wars stuff. If Disney do not send them the blueprints, the concept art, that stuff doesn't get put out. Therefore, an arm of the business is not able to run. It is part of the marketing. You're talking about working with a magazine, that's PR. It's almost likely whatever SFX wanted assets was not easy. But the thing is, it's been done before, Keith. It's been done before. That's the problem. And evidently they wanted to cover it. So I just don't see the point in withholding this stuff from magazines. I don't get it. I, I really don't. You know, they were intending to cover it, Keith. I know, I'm pretty sure... I know that you've um, had some, some words to say beyond this, Keith, but this really isn't... And the reason I call it centenary marketing is that it is having a knock-on effect. Because all those people who would have perhaps picked up SFX Magazine to maybe hear about Doctor Who, or maybe spot SFX Magazine in the shops, you know, and go buy it, they're not going to do that now, because it's not there. Whether you want to say it or not, this is an issue. No matter whether you want to say it's PR, marketing, whatever, I think it's an issue. Uh, Chibnall has been trying to uh, go with... Uh, I don't think he's been going to war or anything. I don't think he's a, a bad guy or anything. I just really don't think this is the right way to go about it. I think it's been proven multiple times that like licensees have been struggling with this stuff. Edge of Reality was another example. I know for a fact Edge of Reality had to delay like the things multiple times because they didn't know when Flux was airing. This just goes so much beyond, oh, there's not a trailer. That's not what the issue is. And I can guarantee you, like, 
It won't be a case of withholding it. I work magazines every month. It's likely SFX wanted screenshots or interviews ahead of time that simply aren't ready or available. I mean, possibly. I mean, I, do, we don't know that for definite, though. That's the thing. I mean, if, if you are right, I suppose that's fair enough. I just, I think this secrecy policy that they're having is being detrimental. And, okay, some things might not be ready, but you're telling me that as, as an episode that's been in the can since, like, what, July? You know, hasn't got some stuff that they could show for a magazine? Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be, you know, horrible. You know, I, I, I don't begrudge anyone, anyone individual in the marketing team. That's not what this is. This is me expressing frustration at the fact that it, it just kind of makes, you know, it kind of makes Doctor Who look like this secret, unknowable thing when that's not what Doctor Who should feel like. Doctor Who's like a family brand and this weird brand of secrecy, it just doesn't seem to fit, you know? Magazines go to print two or three, uh, two or three weeks ahead of time. Um, and missing these deadlines happens every single month. It's annoying, but uh, it happens. If anything, BBC PR will be annoyed. SFX has gone public, I suppose. But I'm seeing people say that, like, you know, they they, they got this. Right. I mean, Darren Scott as well. I think he's been pretty, as as far as I can tell, he's pretty like, you know, he's been pretty good at keeping these secrets. So I can understand the frustration with it. To be honest, I do get it, and I know that. Star Wars does this also. Wait, you mean holding information? I don't know. I mean, I think I think Star Wars do a pretty good job releasing stuff. To be fair, I do. Th I do think the secrecy is an issue. I mean, whether it gets resolved later on or not, um, I just I don't I don't think this is a I I don't think this is good. I I just don't. You know, I wish I could sit here and be like. I don't see this as an issue, but I do, you know, you want brands to be on board with promoting stuff, you don't want to annoy them, and this is what it feels like it's doing. The thing is, I don't even think there needs to be a trailer yet. I don't think there needs to be one. I'm going to say that now. Like, I don't think there needs to be a trailer. What I think, what I take issue with, is the fact that there's just like, there's stuff like this, where it's just... You know, do you know what I'm, I'm saying? Like, just. You know, we've had, you know, Darren Scott's literally been liking people's tweets, being like, yeah, this is detrimental to, to the magazine and to the show. I, 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 at this point, like, I, you know, are you going to talk about the title leaking? Yeah, um, I don't know what the, uh, legitimacy of it is. Um, basically, uh, Mr. Tardis, he posted a tweet being like, um, oh, uh, hang on, let me find it. Uh, he posted a tweet being like, he uploaded a bunch of clips from the Centenary special trailer, and eventually one got copyright claimed, revealing um, a content used, and it says Series 13, Episode 9, and then a blank space. So... According to Mr. Tardis, at least, it's actually been, um, uh, according to him, it's been leaked. Now, the thing is, I don't know, obviously, I don't, I, I don't want to say Mr. Tardis was lying about this or anything like that, but I don't know the legitimacy of it yet myself, um, Yeah, this happened with Flux and Toy Promotion too. Yeah, the, the whole, um, the licensees not knowing about stuff, that's not a new issue. That's something that's been happening. Yeah, I, I, tr oh, I tried Vanders, and it actually didn't. I tried it multiple times, and I actually didn't get claimed, which was odd for the BBC, so maybe they've cottoned on to that being a thing. I don't know. Uh, hey, man, saw your fantastic cosplay on Twitter. Um, no, oh, thanks. Yeah, I love that picture from Comic-Con, yeah. I... Look, again, I want to clarify. I take no issue with anyone doing the marketing. That's not the issue that I'm, I'm for I'm raising. I just... I think when it comes to things being detrimental to magazines and brands, that just feels like bad business at that point. And I'm not begrudging anyone in particular. Maybe it's a higher-up thing. I just don't think it's a good move, I, uh, you know?
Hey there, I just caught the stream. It's crazy how they're acting, uh, breaking down relations, um, trying to promote... Like, that's the thing. I, I, as I said before, you know, it's just not good. Like, for a bit, from a business-minded point of view, you don't want to annoy the people who are meant to be promoting your show. Simple as that, you know? You don't want to be annoying them, and that's kind of what it feels like this is beginning to do. Because this is not the first time we've had people saying um, that they are stuck without information. Uh, I remember BBC America, one of the spokespeople for BBC America tweeting out that they were getting no information since uh, the like the um, the comic panel items for series 13. They didn't know when it was coming out. They knew when it was coming out same time as we did. That's BBC America. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't fans being entitled or wanting information. This is a larger issue, right? It's a larger issue than that. And that's what I'm trying to get across. Legend of Sea Devils had low markets because of race, uh, because of uh, le uh, Legend of the Sea Devils had low uh, ratings because of marketing. Well, this is it. This is what annoys me, and I said it in the previous video, right? They've tried this whole secrecy approach before. They've tried it before with Legend of the Sea Devils. They didn't release a trailer for that till two weeks before broadcast. They do that. It goes on to be the lowest viewed, viewed episode of Doctor Who's history. It's evident that this approach isn't working, so I don't know why it's being kept. I don't get it. We don't actually know the title that's leaked. I've seen some people speculate it's, um... I've seen some people speculate some names, but I don't know whether any of them are legit or not. Um, I've had a couple people say what they think it is, but... Um, what's for the there he says uh, the, the fact that Russell has been t uh, t tell the community um, that it's amazing mind blowing just had RT you shouldn't have to be carrying uh, chibbles yeah well I mean the thing is like you know I, I don't want to try and make this a, a showrunner like debate thing that's not really what I'm I'm here to do I'm just I'm just frustrated that and I mean you are kind of right you know the only re the only reason we know it's October wholesale is because of people like Russell G. Davis and, most recently, Sophie Aldred being like, oh, wait till October. That should be coming officially. We shouldn't have to go to people's Twitter accounts who were tangentially, uh, tangentially related to the broadcast to find that information out. That, that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, like, that shouldn't be what's happening. Like, I don't know. I don't know whether the title got leaked or not. I'm trying to tell, like, because someone's told me what they think it is, and if it is that, then fair. But I, you know, obviously, I've not seen too many people saying it. Oh no, it's not me trying to get a show It just kind of shows the state of Chibnall, uh, where the next show is actually promoting Chibnall. Yeah, like the thing is, Chibnall is more. He always struck me as more of a. He's less of a showman, more of a like behind the scenes type, which is fine. But I think. You know, I, I have missed that level of showmanship that Russell does have, but... Yeah, I'm not trying to be mean to anyone here. I'm really not, you know? Um, I just think this is a problem. I think this is a problem when you're actively having brands be like, yeah, can, can you give us stuff, please, to promote things? And BBC are like, no, we can't. Um... What would someone someone said something then? Someone said something. Maybe there is an embargo on information in, uh, until next month. Perhaps. Yeah, but I mean, even still, you know, like if it is an embargo till next month, you give. That's the whole point of a press embargo. Is that like a press embargo means that like obviously press gets it before it's officially dropped. So that they could drop things. Yeah, I'm hearing a rumor of Timefall as well. The, the Timefall is the Timefall's the rumor title. Chibnall not being a showman isn't a bad thing or his fault. The fault lies with BBC leaving marketing and hype down to the showrunner to handle it. Yeah, I, I I do. I again, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, begrudge anyone or anything like that. I I just get frustrated because it feels to me from an outside perspective. You know, like Doctor Who has been slightly mismanaged. 
that's how it's that's how it feels as a fan you know i'm not trying to be a, a horrible person to anyone but ultimately that's how it feels to me it feels like things like this where you're actively not giving your publishers your licensees information so that they can promote stuff that feels like doctor who's like being hindered from reaching the success, from reaching the success it could have. Yeah, they already did do Spyfall. I mean, Timefall. I have heard rumors about like a Timefall virus, but I don't know whether that ties in. Um, that's the rumored title, but yeah. The Toller has been a marketing best. Series 11 was good. The thing is, Series 11 did have really good marketing. The problem is, after that, it just all sort of seemed to, like, go. And I don't know why. You know, Mr. Talis, he did a good video on, on the whole marketing thing back when Series 13 came out. And I think it holds up really well. And I think it's exactly what's going on at the moment like you know it's just it's just frustrating it is just frustrating you know i predicted that we were going to be getting centenary stuff next month and i still think we will but i, I still think for a finale to an era i think that's I I, sh I think it should be more than that, you know. I I get that they're kind of they're kind of tied down, as some people have pointed out to me. They're kind of tied down by um you know what they want to do for the centenary, as in the whole BBC centenary, not the Doctor Who one. So obviously they can't do stuff until the other centenary stuff starts, I guess. But I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like it's just being detrimental this this whole this whole secrecy policy we really don't need to talk about it i mean if you don't want to talk about it there's the door but i am and <laughs> the bbc seems to do this a lot uh, a lot less uh, a lot as series 10 had a lot less than series 8 uh, same compared to series 5 to series 7 it comes across as losing interest to the general public and it's why the public know RTD zero more. So, oh, so you're saying they go they they go really hard for like the first series, and then after that they're kind of like, eh. I mean, maybe I don't know. I've not really observed it that much. I I kind of want to do um a video t talking about like marketing through the ages and kind of comparing it because uh, I think that would be an interesting video. But I feel like I have to do a lot of research for that because I want to get it right. And I feel like no matter what, you know, I'm gonna have someone saying that I got it wrong, and I don't. I I get. It's it's not. Uh, will you be covering the cyber industry reveal thing? It's everything. The, the cyber industry thing. I don't think it's real, but I mean we could look at it maybe later if you want. But um, there's been a couple of leaked titles thrown around. Nothing concrete, but basically, uh, Mr. Tardis he got a copyright ID claim apparently, and he um, basically uh, he blurred out obviously because he didn't want to leak it. Uh, but apparently he got it copyright claimed and it revealed the title in the copyright ID claim. I don't know what the actual title is because it doesn't seem to be confirmed. I'm seeing rumors about Timefall, but again, I don't know whether that's true or not. Opinion on Doctor Character Parody or, or Mimikaz? Yeah, they're fine. I mean, I like them. I don't think it's the world we felt. If, if that trilby thing is real, I don't think it'll be what we felt time because it looks too short to be that. It would probably be if that if that thing that trilby showed was real, it'll probably be what we felt time. I imagine. I imagine. Do, do, do. I don't know. Yeah, you have to ask Mr. Tardis about that. I don't know.
The woman he fell. Yeah, I tried. I've tried a few times though, and I never got the same result. I tried to replicate it multiple times. Lol, I'm streaming talking about the same thing. Yeah, wait, hold on. Can we see each other's stream at the same time? Right, near dead, near dead. Wait, I didn't realize you were streaming. Right, if we, if if I go to your stream, I can wave to you, and you can wave to me. We can, we can do like Inception. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, there we are. Oh look, look, there we are. But yeah, we are watching each other. Hang on, let's see if we get the streams linked up. Oh, hang on, am I peeking? I'm peeking a bit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me turn this down a little bit. Let me... I'm waving, I'm waving, I'm waving, I'm waving. Hey, we waving. Hello. Wait, that's the wrong hand. There we are, that's better. All right, there we are. There we are. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Thank you to um uh who's that? JB Knight for the two pounds super chat. Thank you very much. Lol crossover. Yeah, there you are. I had no idea he was streaming. <laughs> Sorry about that if I um if I stole your guys nerd then. But what I'll do, I'll probably end before Nerd Den does, because uh, I'm not planning on streaming for too long. Um uh but you know what I'll do is I'll link Nerd Den's one once I'm done. Yeah, I did see people jumping on the the TV zone tweet. At the end of the day, they were just saying they were just saying that it's still upcoming. I don't think there's anything wrong with that tweet, you know. I don't know. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Who's this? Who's the other person? Street nerd dead. Nerd dead. Uh. I'll never understand why people sip the current marketing so much. Yeah, I don't get it. I feel like some people just like to promote, like they like to defend the big company, and I that don't. Obviously, you know, when I think there's unfair criticism, I'm gonna be you know, more than happy to be like, yeah, this is some BS right here. Like, when people go on about, like, diversity hires and stuff, like, yeah, shut up. That's dumb. But when, like, it's things like this, where people are just like, hey, can you maybe not be so secretive so that even, like, the magazines know what's, don't even know what's going on? I don't think that's being entitled. I think that's just, you know, pretty, pretty reasonable. I'm not sure who to blame. Maybe Chipper was asking for a marketing budget and the abuser was like, nah, I don't know. It's really weird. And it's as I said, you know, what I'm what I'm saying here isn't coming from a place of malice in any way. It's coming from me wanting uh, Doctor Who to do well. And I feel like sometimes when these decisions are made, it is detrimental to that success. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't I don't begrudge anyone. I'm I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to um to call anyone out in particular. I just want... I just want the show to be doing well, and I feel at the moment like what's going on is detrimental to that. That's my point. Also, how does the mic sound, by the way? Does the mic sound good? Are we sounding good, chat? Yeah, I just, I don't see the, like, or just, you know what? I'd be happy with just the date and an image. You know, like what they did with Legends of Sea Devils, but, like, sooner, basically. Because it is a regeneration story, and I, I know that, like, they probably do have some things, but surely just releasing an image wouldn't be, like, um, that detrimental, surely. Maybe it would be. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I just think that when you've got publishers coming out being like yeah this is an issue i feel like that's worth considering that's
By any memes in chat. New info released on Twitter. Wait, did it? I feel like you could just be trolling me, but I'll have a look anyway. I'm not seeing anything new. If it was a troll, fair enough. I'm not seeing anything. Even if they didn't want to give us anything, there's still what better ways to do this. RTD gave us the 60th cast, but because it was hyped up with mystery, it was exciting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, made you look very nice. You're getting banned. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. But I could. Just know that. Just know that I could. Touch these two strands together and you're finished. Tyrant Thary's arc. I mean, look, you know, we all know that this isn't a democracy. I feel like I'm on the Truman Show when I've got all these different cameras. Darius, will you stream later today if the cyber industry timer runs out? I mean, uh, yeah, this is the new mic. Does it sound good? Yeah. Um, The camera switch was terrifying. I love doing the camera switch. I love sideways theories, as you should. Maybe I'll stay live and I'll talk about the cyber thing. I don't know. I know that I'm probably going to have to switch my lighting around at some point. You know what? I need a be back soon thing. I know someone made me one at some point. I can't remember who did it. And that's going to be annoying. Um, maybe I'll do that very quickly at some point. Um, it's in like four hours. I mean, I could, I could stream for a while. The mic sounds great. Good. I'm glad. I think it would be a good, make a good stream. It'll work when the time runs out, so I tune in, mate. Yeah, I will do. <laughs> On IMDb, it says Ian is in the special. Yeah, I saw that. The thing is, though, IMDb, as far as I'm aware, it's um, it's publicly curated, so like they could just say that. Who would you cast as the master? Hot take: If I was running Doctor Who, the master would be having a break for at least a while. I just, I don't know. I feel like we've done a lot that we could do with that character at the moment. Chicken nuggets and chips, elite. I actually had McDonald's this morning because I am a very bad role model. Uh, <laughs> what's happening in four hours? Um, the Cybers Industries, that weird uh, fan um, website, is apparently revealing something. We don't know what it is, really, but apparently they're revealing something in four hours. They've been counting down for days, so I might as well see what that is. Um, anyone can add to IMDb. Same, but for the Daleks. Uh, what? You mean a break? Now, nah, the Daleks have more potential than the Master, I think. Fan website. Well, that's the thing. What do you want me to call it? Because we don't know. We don't know what it is. I mean, there's kind of been bits of evidence to suggest it's not a BBC website, so I kind of feel like that's a safe assumption. Anyone can add to IMDb. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Oh, I hope the Daleks get a redesign, man. No offense to the Time War boys, but I think we've, you know, we've seen enough of them, you know. They've had their time in the spotlight, goddammit. Give someone else a try. Rupert Grint to play the master? Nah. Sorry, no, I don't know. <laughs> Personal disagreement, but yeah. Bring back the Paradigm Daleks from Series 7, yes. I agree. I want to see them again. We de They deserve a second chance. I've always thought. It's time to realise the paradigm weren't that bad, okay? Uh, I got a new one recently. This one is a USB. It's a Blue Yeti. I've um, swapped to an on-desk microphone, which I kind of prefer because as cool as the arm thing was, it was just kind of in the way, you know? Um, if you could work on Doctor Who, what would your role job be? Good question. I'd like to present something. So maybe if I, there was like a spin-off, you know, Russell, hit me up. <laughs> uh, give the Tyrone dogs the purpose. See, the thing is they were going to all have like different things. They were going to have like, you know, different weapons that could come out of them and stuff. They, we just never got to see them. That's what I mean. Like, and they were going to reveal what the Eternals point was and Uh, in defense of BBC, I think it's unprofessional for most people. That's fair, but I do think it's important to realize that, like, um, you know, the the people who are writing magazines are also not happy about it. It's not a fan, it's not purely a fandom issue. 
Dairy spin off where you get your entirely. That'd be elite. That'd be elite. Um, what did someone say? Hello, Therese. I'm on holiday. I hope you're enjoying your holiday. Um, where? Uh, that's a good question. I like to do that. Where's everyone watching from at the moment? Where's everybody watching from? If you got to decide a, a new companion and you were told it couldn't be from modern day human, what would you choose? Either a past or a future companion, because the, th the thing is, I feel like humans are the easier thing to do, right, for, um, uh, you know, like, the budget, right, but at the same time, it's, um, I kind of want to, like, see someone not from Modern Earth, obviously that fits, um, yeah, so I think for me, I think maybe past or future, maybe one of each, that'd be cool, uh, uh, I'm watching from Wales. You're on holiday in Wales? Why would you do that to yourself? I'm in Wales and I would go on holiday. No, that's fair enough. Uh, Bognor Regis, Sydney, Barbados, Scotland, West Midlands, Edinburgh, uh, US, Australia, Lancashire, Medway, West Mids, Tamworth, Newcastle, Texas. Wow, we got Malaysia. <laughs> that's uh, some, some, some variety today. And I'm not complaining. My house based. That's where I am too. That's where I am also. Also, if you are enjoying the stream, be sure to give it a like. I kind of just did this as a bit of an um, um, like an impromptu thing. Also, if you want a super chat, it really helps me out. I kind of realized that doing late at night streams, like for some reason, all the Americans come on with all their millions of dollars um, and give me all the money. So <laughs> I'll probably do start doing more late streams. But um, yeah. <laughs> If you want to help out the chat, it's greatly appreciated. Antarctica, you're in my house. Yes, I'm everywhere. I'm in the walls. I'm in the walls. Glasgow, nice. Davros is Davrosy. Right. You are close to getting back, no, Jake. <laughs> I've donated too much now. I'm poor. Darius is in the walls. I am. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. Hold on. I'm everywhere. Everywhere you look. Everywhere you are. This isn't your world. This is mine. I'm taking over. There we are. Someone clipped that. Darius should get cast as a Dalek. I wish. I've seen someone make a Davros wheelchair... Like, there's actually a Davros and a wheelchair, and I want it. Someone make that for me. I will pay in exposure, you know? <laughs> I just want a Davros chair that's actually a wheelchair. Can you imagine how sick that was? I'd be, like, rocking up to a con, being like, screw, like that. Be sick. Absorb a seat for fuck. <laughs> it's like, I'm getting really, like, Twitch chat vibes from the chat today. <laughs> Tell you what, just to just to solidify that, everyone just start spamming Among Us. Or Sus. That's all I want to see. Darius would have been a lot better uh, Doctor than Rowan Atkinson. I don't know, I quite like Rowan Atkinson in, in uh, Curse of Veil Death, not gonna lie. Sus Among Us. Sussy back in it. Sus. Sus. Sussy Among Us. Sus. Uh, there was a chair in the Sunmakers episode. Which you can actually see it with a wheelchair. Yes! I know. Sus among us. Sus. Sussy back. Have you seen the latest Darius highlight bit, Darius? Yes! Yes, I have seen that. And I know you made it. So congrats, Vanders. Vanders. To making it to the, the highlights channel. Who would you like to see take over the Doctor Pickle license? Honestly, I kind of want to see character keep it. If only because I don't want the characters to be inconsistent now. I don't want to be like the figures to be like different sizes and shapes now like it's it's an awkward situation you can say my name now well done the mission has passed yes i also realize we are very much not getting to the goal of um, 16,000 subscribers by by tuesday for the fish fingers and custard stream that's not happening <laughs> mainly because to be fair i mean i've had like technical difficulties so kind i kind of get it um if you want to subscribe you can. Darius the 15th Doctor Petition 2077. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's get it started now. You know, start as we need to go on. Please show us the show off your Slitheen figure in the back. There it is. Wait. There it is. You can't really see it. I am planning on doing a room tour. That's something I want to do. Show off some of my shelves. Gonna bring back Evil Dan. Thoughts on a potential Doctor Who? I think Doctor Who possibly would be good. Have you met Karen Gillan, Matt Smith, and Arvid Arville? No, and I wish I had. Because they are my childhood team. Stephen Moffat under RTD or Neil Gaiman under RTD. Or, oh, I'd love to see Neil Gaiman do another episode. Please, Neil, come back. I know you're too big for it and too successful, but please do it again. Thoughts on a potential Doctor Who movie? Oh, uh, yeah, but I'd rather it stay in the continuity of the show. I wouldn't want, like, a separate continuity. Do you think Lego will do anything for the 60th of it? I hope so, but I doubt it. I'd love it if they did. I doubt it. I have annoyed many Doctor Who fans with a Michael, uh, with a Michael Rosen describes the new he video. Seven, nine, and thirteen have sent people ballistic. Wait, what's that? Can someone? Can you send a link? Actually, I don't know whether you can send a link in chat. Um, but if you know, I might watch that later. So um, maybe at me on Twitter in it if you've uh, seen it. Uh, but yeah. Oh, TV Zone's just made a point about centenary marketing. How interesting. On Doctor Who centenary marketing, literally nobody has any idea. And if anybody did know anything official, they wouldn't be allowed to say. A lot of people from various outlets of all kinds are privately immensely frustrated. Not at specific people, but at the strategy. This is my point. I'm not angry at anyone specific. I think the strategy is detrimental to the show. Going to throw these out there as a possibility, obviously not confirmed. Promo pic poster at, and title at Edinburgh TV Film Festival revealed as part of a wider panel. Uh, trailer or first teaser on TV will strictly launch Saturday, 17th of September. Okay, interesting. I'm going to retweet that. going to retweet. We're going to retweet TV. So TV is over follow me, which is nice. I feel like it's because I've leaked stuff before, but... I appreciate it anyway, TV Zone. Oh yeah, no, I don't think the link came through. I think links are deactivated in the chat for some reason. Unless you've added me on Twitter, and in which case, I will, I will look. Do do do. Terry's PC build through one. Ah, uh, see, I'm not. I am nowhere near. Either got the dexterity or I'm technologically minded enough to uh, to do that. Links are early disabled if you're not a moderator, yeah, but I think Clacker tried to say something not as a moderator and therefore I couldn't see it. This chat is so weird today. My. Uh... My contact is a very pissed off BBC Insider. That's how I'm getting my info. Well, you know what? Respect that. Don't know who it is, but... But yeah, what, what TV Zone just said is essentially my whole point with the stream. I'm not annoyed at anyone in particular. I think the strategy is, is wrong. I think it's a bad strategy. That's my point. Thoughts on beef barbecue noodles? I mean, it's been a while, but I think they're fine. I, I, no, I, no strong thoughts. Yeah, no hate to the marketing team or Chipnall, but the strategy is bad. Yeah, I, I that's what I believe. Darius Leaker, oh man. Yeah, nothing's really been going on, leak-wise. That's my point. It's not just fans being like, where's the trailer? As, as much as I've seen people try and, you know, indicate that that's what it is. It's actually publishers being like, what's going on? <laughs> what 
Where's the Jack Seven Life collab being filmed? You need to collab with him. He's a big fan. I I do want to. I think I sent him an email actually, and uh, he never got back to me. He aired me. So um, tell you what, people spam. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, ha give me a sec. Okay. Clip this, clip this, clip this, right? Clip this and put it on the Jack Six of Life subreddit if you want a collab with me and Jack Six of Life. Uh, give me a sec, alright. Jack Six of Life, you may be able to see over there I have a Cyberman head. You also have a Cyberman head. I also have a bunch of Doctor Who things. You know, do you want a collab? My audience seems to want it. Uh, yeah, let me know. Please, Jack Six of Life, I really need, I really, I, I really need this, Jack Six of Life, please. Please, please. Okay, there you go. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I didn't click the no, no, no. Hold on, I'm gonna do that again because I didn't click the right button. To... Hang on, right. Do it again. Hey Jack, you maybe want to see I've got a Cyberman head. I've also got a bunch of Doctor Who figures. I know that you also have a Cyberman head. My audience wants us to collab, but if you want to do it, then please, you know, feel free to get in touch. Please, Jack, please, I need this. Jack, please, I'm begging you. I, I, please. Please. Okay. There you go. Let me get OBS up. There you go. That's the spirit. No. Is that TV show to put her official? I, I don't think they're official, but they are like a sort of... Um, they're, they're not like BBC, but they are um, an, an the news outlet. I don't really know. I think they are an outlet of some variety. There you go. Yeah, they are pretty reliable of recent. I mean, look, they. I think they do get stuff because they got the stuff for Flux. You know, they got the Flux promo images. So, how are you doing anyway, Therese? I'm not too bad. Someone said, "Who Jackson Life is a YouTuber who does videos predominantly about play buttons and like extravagant things, um, and they also are a Doctor Who fan." Uh, hello, just joined. Thank you, Cameron Jefferson, for the five pound super chat. Have I missed anything? Hope you're doing well. Not too much. We've just been talking about marketing, really. Uh, so it's been a bit of a chill stream really today, Cameron, but yeah, you haven't really missed anything too much. As I said, the VOD will be up later on, as it always is, so, uh... Uh, there is only moderators can post a web link. Uh, oh, I just noticed the web, the view is went really down. Was it my breathing? Sorry. Only moderators can post the web link in the live chat, but it normally appears. Um, Jack could get you a Doctor Who world record. I don't know what in though. Have I actually broken anything? I don't think I have. I think like maybe like most Doctor Who leak the videos published, but um, I don't think I think that's too niche. Hey Therese, have you watched the Harbour Worms video? Yeah, no, I have. Um, Harbour's a friend of mine. It's pretty good. I mean, he's a bit too harsh on the Moffat era for my liking, the Smith era specifically, but you know. Have we had any new shots lately? Not of the 60th filming, no. I think they'd be mostly filming indoors. Uh, yeah. Are you going to eat fish fingers and custard? If we get to 16,000 uh, by next Tuesday, but I don't think we will. They were hugely off the mark when Gotham was on. Yeah, I haven't really been following them that long. I've only sort of really been following them uh, with Doctor Who stuff, really. So um, I can't really say their track record with other things. Doctor Who, they seem to have something inside, though. So there's that.
Uh, there are rumours of it starting at Christmas. I hope it does. There's nothing officially confirmed there. Favourite Chibnall era episode? Either Haunting or War of the Tyrants. One of those two. One of those two. Oh, I've had a message. What did they say? Oh, yeah, it's just... Can you show us your screwdrivers? Uh, yeah, I will when I do a room tour. Like, right now, it's a bit awkward we're getting things... Ooh, a car. Or is that a motorbike? I can't tell. It is amazing to me how when even you've got, like, like like media outlets saying we're not getting anything, people still sticking their hands in the sand going like, oh, it's great. What do you mean? It's like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like that meme. I was saying to a friend, it's like that meme of, um, you know, like the dog and there's like a fire. It's like, this is fine. That's kind of how the marketing and the people defending the marketing kind of feel at the moment. Cyberman looks like he's whispering into me. What are you saying, Cyberman? Reveal your secrets to me. Reveal your secrets, so wise one. Do do do. Thoughts on Nerdrotic? Shit, there you go. <laughs> I feel like I was pretty succinct. Hello, any news at all? Nothing major. Just sort of like little, little, uh, sort of, uh, we're talking about marketing really. Nothing major that has been sort of going on. Okay, someone said, okay, so someone posted the clip of me asking for a collab to the Jack Sucks at Life subreddit. Uh, Van Duz did it. Um, if you want to upvote it, there you go. If you want a collab, then there you are. You can upvote that Reddit post. Uh... I would like to see the Cyber Shades come back to you. They were in my first episode. Uh, they were in my first episode, um, the next Doctor, the first episode I watched. So there you go. I mean, it's an odd choice to bring back. I mean, I feel like they need a redesign, because they don't look, uh, great <laughs> by modern standards. But, you know, they're not something I'd be opposed to seeing again, you know. Do 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 do. I feel like I just answered my the the erotic question. Shit was my answer. I just realised that uh, Bird Crimson didn't even live since sixteenth. That wow, that's depressing. Yeah, man, it sucks. It really sucks. I think it's possible to see shit you got rid of the sixtieth. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. Wait, you linked it on the Discord as well? Hold on. What, the Jack Sucks Alive Reddit Discord? In fact, you know what? I could probably add the, um, my Reddit to, to to ask them to upload this. Just to see if it actually did get me, make it onto, um, onto, like, one of the videos. Imagine. We just bully him into doing a bit. I don't even know what the video would be about. Someone just like, oh, you should up, you should collab with him. I'll be like, all right, fine. I, I do like Jackson's life, but don't know whether he'd collab with me. We'll see. It would have to be like a, I don't know what it would be. Anyway. We can finally see what's behind the door. There's nothing behind the door. Imagine if it's like Hello Neighbor and I've actually just got like all my secrets in there. 
I don't. There's there's nothing interesting in my house. It literally is just what it is. It's just a house. Very simply. That's all it is. I think there is that maybe Journey gets split into two versions of myself during the same tree, like in Flux. Maybe. That's possible. Yeah. Or it would be weird if, like, they did that same plot point twice in a very short span of time. Wait, let's watch the actual clip of me on the subreddit. Someone. Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, wait, hopefully you can hear this. Can you hear this? Um... No, you can't. Yeah, don't worry. I'll fix it. I'll fix it, chap. So this is me being on the subreddit. <laughs> Someone asked for me to collab with this person, so there you go. We're gonna do it. This was do it again. Hey, Jack. You maybe want to see. I've got a Cyberman head. I've also got a bunch of Doctor Who figures. I know that you also have a Cyberman head. My audience wants us to collab, but if you want to do it, then please, you know, feel free to get in touch. Please, Jack, please. I need this. Jack, please. I'm begging you. I, I, please. Please. There you go. There, there you are. There's the, there's the Reddit thing. So, uh, it falls in his court now. <laughs> there you are. Is the title leaked? I don't know. It is and it isn't. I don't know. I've got this is read it before. I can do it again. Go on. We believe anyway. Yeah. Anyone got any questions? Just not any 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 Doctor Who questions. Any questions about life? Because I don't really know what else to do with this stream. I probably should have made it a video thinking about it. But there we are. Your house is not a TARDIS. Well, actually. Funny you mentioned that. Remember, anyone remember the video I did where it was like, um, I was actually the one who got the watch after the doctor dropped it. Remember I did that little short. Do you like football? If so, who do you support? Kind of. I'm kind of a casual guy. Obviously, I support Cara City because uh, that is my city. Uh, and yeah, I was a season ticket holder there for many years. Um, I used to do it with my dad, but my dad got busy. I got busy. Life got in the way. But yeah, there you go. Uh... Is there a Mr. Is there a Mrs. Starries or a Mr. I wish? I am cripplingly alone. Someone help me. There you go. Uh, if it if it were to happen, uh, how would you want Russell to revive Torchwood? I don't know. Maybe get Martha Jones as a regular part of the cast. Jack will help you. Wait, what? With, like, being not lonely? Hopefully. I need some help in that department, clearly. You should react to some fan-made Doctor Who intros. Thing is, though, a lot of them use the copyrighted music, and I feel like I'm definitely going to get claimed if I do that. I am definitely getting copyright claimed if I start listening to Doctor Who music. Least favorite Cyberman story. Ooh. That's tough, because I kind of enjoy a lot of them. Even Haunting, I really like. I mean, Haunting's like one of my favorite channel episodes, so... Least favorite. I feel like maybe Revenge of the Cybermen. That's probably what I'm missing. Oh god, I got a ten pound super chat from Cameron. Thank you, Cameron. Uh, I believe Bernard Cribbins got all filming completed for the sixtieth. Uh, I hope so too. Um, yeah, I hope they have a special tribute to Bernard. Yeah, thank you for the ten pound super chat, man. Appreciate that. 
then you get to see the title if it's clipped. I mean, I guess I could play it without... Revenge was great. I don't know. I feel like it's the weak point of Season 12 for me. I don't know. Because otherwise, I think Season 12 is pretty impeccable, as in the Tom Baker season. Clary. Ooh. Seeing people getting very defensive of the chipital marketing. Have you tried VR? Uh, a little bit, but it's uh, it's kind of not my back. Oh, hang on, my dog's barking. Give me one second. Okay, the dog's in me for a while, chat. The dog's in with me for a while, chat. Oh, my microphone keeps slipping. There we are. The dog's in me for a little chat because um, my dog does this thing where they'll keep barking at the window. Hold on. Oh, I've lost where my, my, my video capture is. There we are. Okay, there she is. <laughs> there she is. She's come to say hello. Look, dog reveal. That's the Thary's highlights clip if I've ever seen one. Look at that. That's that's something we you can clip. That's my dog. She's missing mum at the moment, but she'll be back soon. I promise. She's she's gone now. See, look, I I spent all that effort, you know, getting the dog in here, and then the new K9, yes, leaked new design of K9. Oh god, no, she's barking again. Oh, god, it's because my mum's out. That's why she's waiting. She hates us. She does a little bit. You know, I actually named... I actually named Bonnie. The name's Bonnie. Everyone say hi to Bonnie. Everyone say hi. I named her... Because I, I, I suggested Bonnie. Not only because I thought it was a neat name, but also a little reference to Bonnie Langford. He played Mel, you know, in uh, in uh, the 80s. You know, I still want his slight Doctor Who reference in the name of the dog. So, um... Oh, she's having some water now. There we are. There we are. Oh, look. Wholesome. Wholesome. Do I get more likes now if a dog's in the stream? <laughs> Come on, the people want to say hello. Look, hello. Don't know whether they can really see you from there, but oh well. What do you think about the marketing? Yeah, she's not really that bothered. I'm gonna be honest. Pity likes. No, and it's like cuteness likes. You know, you know, like how those dog Instagrams get like a bunch of likes.
You okay? She's just looking at me. She's looking at me as if to say, I want to do something, but I have no idea what she wants. What's your favourite, uh, what's your all-time favourite Doctor Who scene? Ooh, that's tough. I feel like, I don't know. The turn left scene with Will always hits me pretty hard. I also love the scene with the second Doctor and the Cybermen, the whole, you know, the memory of them won't always be a sad one. The rest of the time they sleep in my mind. I think that's a lovely scene. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of good scenes. Currently on 20, is it up on 20 upvotes already? That's mad. That Reddit thing. That's mad. For some reason, it's not letting me see the amount of upvotes it has. That's annoying. If you want to see me collab with Jax Jackson to life, then do that. <laughs> Upvote the thingy. Oh, the dog's gone again. There is, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Some sort of curry, probably. <laughs> Don't know which one, but curry. I'm a big curry fan. Big curry guy. I'm probably going to wrap him in a bit. I might, um... I might, uh, what you call it? Come back for, uh, the thingy. Uh, what was the second plus thing about yesterday? Okay, so a friend of mine <laughs> was streaming Pokemon stuff, and I thought it'd be funny if we did a little bit of trolling. So basically, um, uh, what we did was, we, because um, basically, for context, right, my friend, I asked him, you know, how did the universe get restored in Flux? And he said, but there was a second Flux. And I was like, that doesn't explain how it got restored. If anything, that makes it more damaged. And we got a little bit heated, but it's more of a meme than anything else, so don't worry. But, like, I thought it would be funny to spam his chat with, but there was a second flux. So, yeah, there we are. What's your order, chippy order? Do you like curry sauce? Yes. Uh, curry or, uh, chippy order, probably either a batter sausage, chips and curry sauce, or um, chicken curry with chips would be my two orders, probably. I've just had a message. I've had a message. Oh, I've just seen that, yeah. That was good. Uh, Jack Den did a meme. Uh, Jack Den. No, Den did a meme. <laughs> Which was very good. Very good meme. Oh, I've retweeted it. There you are. Um... It was weird with no context, but the wheelchair gang, you always do as you say. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, they, they did it. They did what I asked. Can't ask for anything more. Yeah. Does that make more sense, though? Like, that was basically the context behind the joke. Um, I'm just going to put I agree in the replies to that Reddit thing. Do, 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 do. There we are. I agree. You'll also find out what my Reddit account is if you look. So there you are. I forgot I was actually showing that, but there we are. Curry X chips. Curry X chips is a plus, right? You, you, you're insulting my heritage, right? <laughs> so I do fancy some chips now. Ah, uh, no, I can't, I'm going, obviously I had McDonald's today, so I'll probably try to be healthy for the next couple of days, you know. I don't want to be too unhealthy. Oh, well done. I think someone might be coming through the door. I might have to cut. I might have to stop for a moment and then come back again. Is that a car? I don't know. I'll probably have to stop in a bit anyway, but yeah. 
I might come back for the, the reveal thing if that is anything significant. But thank you anyway for uh, tuning in. I think I'm already head off. Um, dox yourself. No. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this is more just a test stream of anything. Just to see this mic working. It seems to work pretty well. So, um, yeah. That's cool. Anyway. Cheers, chat, for coming in. And my dog started barking again, so that's perfect time. Bye!